It's time for split decisions. I like it. There you go. <laughs> okay. It's that one song, uh, Double Vision. Oh, right. I just made it split decision. I like See, it. See, I'm trying to double branch vision. out. It always gets the best of me. Oh, it does. Yeah. Especially when you're driving. Like, <laughs> which way am I going? There's a fork in the road. There's no fork in the road. Billy. Okay, there you go. <laughs> okay, it's time for split decisions. Fun. Oh, I don't know what the theme is. 30 Rock of the Office. I'm guessing it's. Oh, wait, I didn't even read this. Oh. I'm sorry, Kelly. I didn't yeah, read that's this. That's okay. We're going to see pairs of Rolling Stones' greatest sitcoms of all time. Now, this will be hard for me because I love a sitcom. Okay. Always have, always will. There you go. Okay, 30 Rock, The Office. This is hands down easy this for me. This is you, The Office. The Office. I didn't watch that, and I did like 30 Rock. So. Adam, yeah. I see. I know he loves TV too. I was just, yeah. he was naughty. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, easy peasy, <laughs> lemon squeezy. Okay. Arrested Development or Taxi? This is also easy for me. I was out building a fort in the, in the outdoors, probably. Okay. Arrested Development for me. I love it because to me it was. Like, I have not seen that. I've seen this one. So I'll okay. Go with this one. Groundbreaking for me because I loved the way they shot it and the storytelling. I loved it. The Andy Griffith oh. Show or Frasier? I'm going to go with Andy Griffith because I've seen that one you more. You like Frasier. I never watched it. Oh. I never even watched it. I did watch both of them, but I mean, this is just, it always had a lesson and just a feel good story. I like that. This one felt a little bit too highbrow, like talking down to me. Right. And who From does, what I've heard. Who doesn't want to live in Mayberry? Just saying. <laughs> okay. Curb Your Enthusiasm or The Dick Van Dyke Show? I'm going with Dick Van Dyke. I, I know this is going to come to a shock to some people, but I've never been a huge Curb Your Enthusiasm fan. I'm not a super fan. It's good. Okay. Not so much. But when he trips over that ottoman. He's so good. I love it. I know. It's amazing. Yes. Classic. I, I would agree. The Honeymooners oh. and Parks and Recreation. One of these days, Alice. To the moon. Could not do that today on TV. No, I know. There's so many shows that you could not, that would not be politically correct. Think about that guy. What's his name? Was it Ralph or? Ralph. Ralph. Mm -hmm. Threatening physical violence against his wife every single episode. One of these days. To the moon. Boom. I was like, you would never be able to do that today. No, you couldn't. No. no. Uh, I'm going to go with, okay, I'll be honest. I watched The Honeymooners when I was a kid, like on Nick at Night, mm -hmm. and I just could not get over how simple it was. It was, yeah. And it was one of the original TV shows. Yeah. I'm going with Parks and Rec. That's okay. I like me some Amy Poehler. I like me some Amy Poehler. Yeah. The Mary Tyler Moore Show or MASH? Well, I'm going to have to go with Mary Tyler Moore. Me too. My brother loved MASH. I couldn't, I mean, it's a serious uh, show. And there's always a good story. I mean, there's some comedy in there too. But just the whole idea of war that, you know, it's, I just, I didn't want to connect, I think. So I, this was great. I can't even listen and to MASH. And your gal was in this one too. I do love that one. Yeah. I can't listen to the MASH theme song without getting depressed. I, l I mean, I like the song, I, no, uh, I but don't. It, it does put me in that melancholy. It puts me in, yes, it makes it me. Really, uh, it makes me. Da, 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 da. It just makes yeah. me sad. I don't know why. But sometimes you want to be sad. That's true. Well, then I turn on Adele and just cry. <laughs> okay. Okay. I love Lucy or Seinfeld. Come on! Now I know now. Now I watched Seinfeld. I was a, I was a fan, but I I love Lucy. Who doesn't? You know what's funny? I have been recently within the past three weeks. I I have not watched Seinfeld since it went off the air. I started rewatching it to see if it held up, and I've been enjoying it again. Yeah, yeah. I have been. It is good, and you know, from the beginning of it to like any show, the the characters evolved, and, and it was good. I was surprised that I just hadn't had the desire to watch it. Like I'll watch I Love Lucy anytime yeah. or The Office. But Jerry was my least favorite. Uh, who was your favorite? Oh, well, I loved Elaine and I loved Kramer. Oh, yeah. Mm. I liked Newman. Oh, Newman. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Cheers and The Simpsons. These are the number one and two show of all time. Oh, my goodness. I, wait, Jake, which one is number one? Probably The Simpsons. Are you serious? Number one show, like, Okay, I, I, don't, I don't agree with Rolling Stone. I don't know. But I don't agree. I didn't watch the Simpsons. I just couldn't. I've I never couldn't been into it. those voices. I just. I, I don't want to sound like a snob. I just can't get into cartoons. Sorry. Just can't do it. Okay, I'm going to say something. You know, I didn't really love cartoons as a kid. I mean, there were a few that I watched, but I, I didn't watch for hours. I, I could do just a little bit, and then I wanted to go outside. I hear you. I'm going with Cheers so, because everybody knows your name. Yeah, that's right, and I love that. And why wouldn't you go where everybody that's knows right. your name? <laughs> I love that. Gosh. And now that's a happy song. That is a very, yeah. that's an uplifting song. Yeah. I agree yes. with that. Okay. 
Well, that was good. That was good. That was easy for me today. Pretty easy. Okay. We'll be back with so much more. Stay right there. Yeah, that one is an easy one for me yeah, today. Yeah, I like that. Actually, surprisingly.